Bienvenidos al séptimo congreso de Alaxa R en Buenos Aires, Argentina. Es un verdadero privilegio a poder charlar un poquito con el doctor Roberto Bellucci de Verona, el presidente de Eskers um, este año. Y él ha participado en el simposio de Bausan Lom sobre uh, tecnología FM2 segundo. Doctor Bellucci, could you please highlight uh, the main points of both of your talks here in the symposium today? I think that the femtosecond technology now is ready to help most of us as surgeons. For cataract surgery, it's very important to have an easy system to dock the eye. Mm -hmm. And for instance, one of the advantages the Victus laser has is the microscope to dock the eye. And then with the Victus, we are in control of eye movement during the procedure. And for this reason, we can dock the eye properly, control the eye movement, and so there are no lost shots of the laser. The laser works properly in every eye, producing perfect capsulotomies, nice fragmentation. I had no problems in my first 200 eyes. Mm -hmm. The Victus can be used for corneal procedures as well. I use it in every LASIK in my facility. The adjustments are different than the adjustment for cataract surgery. The frequency is different. However, we get nice flaps mm -hmm. and we can use the Victus to do LASIK even in eyes previously operated by LASIK. Safety is perfect, precision is very, very good, and if you match the Victus femtosecond laser with the new Teneo laser from Pauchelomb, mm -hmm. like I do, it's real, really nice mm -hmm. to operate those eyes. The Teneo is very precise. It will uh, use iris recognition mm -hmm. to help the surgeon. And the frequency is 500 hertz. There is a plume evacuator. It is lens sensitive to t room temperature and humidity. And really, Working with the laser never was that easy. Thank you so much, Dr. Bellucci. We know you just arrived recently, so we really appreciate your time here today. Thank, Thank you. you.